President Trump signed a $1.3 trillion spending bill Friday, avoiding another government shutdown. But just hours earlier, the president acknowledged he was considering vetoing the measure. Though the White House helped negotiate it, Mr. Trump said he was disappointed in the spending deal because it doesn't fully fund his border wall or address the so-called dreamers, young immigrants who were brought to the country illegally as children. Errol Barnett is in West Palm Beach, Florida, where the president is spending the weekend. Errol, good morning. Good morning. Sources tell CBS News that Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan was surprised by President Trump's veto threat, so he called him to convince him to sign the bill. President Trump said he relented because of increased funding for the military. Mr. President, why threaten to veto? President Trump departed the White House Friday for his Florida resort after he threatened to veto, but then eventually signed a spending bill to avoid a government shutdown. There are a lot of things that I'm unhappy about in this bill. The president begrudgingly approved the $1.3 trillion federal spending measure, even though he was not pleased with the final numbers. While we're very disappointed in the $1.3 trillion, nobody more disappointed than me because the number is so large. Mr. Trump said he looked seriously at vetoing the budget far, agreement, the but ultimately decided to world. sign it because of its $60 billion increase in defense spending. We had no choice but to fund our military because we have to have by far the strongest military in the world. The spending bill fell short of the president's $18 billion request for his border wall. He also noted that the more than 2,200-page bill was sent to the White House for his signature hours before the shutdown deadline. But I say to Congress, I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. Nobody read it. It's only hours old. But the president ignored the fact that White House aides and Republican congressional leaders led the negotiations on the bill. The few lawmakers remaining on Capitol Hill before the start of a two-week recess reacted to the president's veto threat with surprise. We're trying to give 18 months of certainty, which everybody needs, for the president to threaten to move us away from certainty to more chaos and confusion is foolish. I don't think what we did was the best thing we could have done. But it was the only thing we could have done. So to veto it wouldn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, President Trump late last night did follow through on a different threat, issuing a memo disqualifying those who are transgender from serving in the military. Now, this applies to those who are seeking surgery or medical treatment, and it only makes exceptions in very limited circumstances. The White House says those with gender identity disorders pose a considerable risk to military effectiveness. But we should note this will not take immediate effect because of multiple court injunctions. Rena? Errol Barnett traveling with the president in Florida. Thanks, Errol.